Welcome to another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series. Today, I've invited Shauna Shore in from Bottoms Up Colonics because I want to speak about the five essential elements. So, can you explain that? Yeah. The Chinese believe that we're made up of exactly the same elements as the planet. So we've got fire, earth, metal, water and wood. They all generate each other and they all control each other. Let's just talk about the fire element for a moment. So the fire, fire element has the small intestine and triple warmer, which is very interesting really, but I'll get to that. Also the heart and the circulation. The triple warmer and the circulation are reflections of the major organs. But if we just look at the small intestine and the triple warmer, the small intestine is where all our nutrients get absorbed, right? It's also where water mixes with nutrients and activates our hormones. Okay, so if that's not running f freely, that elemental system is out of balance, then that starts to throw the next element out of balance. So I'll give you the little story of the five elements. Oh. We've got fire that burns creates ash. Ash compacts to create earth. Earth compresses creates metal. Metal traditionally was known as the air element. Yeah, and then air or metal produces water, water feeds wood, wood grows, wood then burns, wood, wood then burns and creates more fire. And you can relate this to the human body? Absolutely, because every organ, the Chinese were very, very clever, every organ is correlated to an elemental system. So the lungs? The lungs and the large intestine are coupled together and in the elemental system we call them husband and wife. So the husband would be the large intestine and the wife or yin energy would be the lung. Yin energy is the life force element. So heart would be the, the yin energy of the fire element and etc. Would I be right in saying that if you've got a lung problem you could also have a heart problem because the husband and wife? No, the heart, well, yeah, that does have an effect. Um, but there's a, there's a generating cycle which goes around the five elements and then what we call a co-cycle which controls the energy within that. And that's really quite a long discussion. But if you have a large intestine problem, the organs that will be directly correlated to that will be the kidneys and bladder. That element will be not fed properly. Also, the, water, uh, the wood element will have an effect, which is the liver. And that's what we've discussed before, how the liver and the large intestine are actually um, tied up in detoxification. And the Chinese knew that. And when you look at the five elemental system, it displays exactly how and why that happens. Um, I know a chappy that keeps on going to the bathroom. He has to go every 10, 15 minutes. Mm. So what's happening there? So a bit of the, it would be a lack of good energy within the large intestine, within the colon. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of what we would call tonus or tone within the colon. So he's losing a lot of that. That needs to be controlled by the fire element, which is your small intestine. And all of this can be put a little bit more into balance if you're doing a colonic. Absolutely. Clean that's those whole systems out let them do their job, not overload them with stuff that they really don't need to be trying to handle. Well, there you go. After many sessions of speaking with Shauna, I don't know of anything that can't be improved by having a colonic. Emotions, your bowel movement, the sugar cravings because you're reducing candida. It just goes on and on. I have a great love for colonics because if the pipes aren't clean, all the beautiful foods that I work with are less advantageous. So you don't have to have a massive diet. You can just be eating the foods that are required to nourish your body when you have clean pipes. That's more than food for thought. Thank you for watching another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series.